The following is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 218 pounds, CM Punk. Everyone in this match is competing at such a high level. I predict one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. He is about to face what some call the gatekeeper of this industry. Well, anyone who thinks they're any good has to prove it first against Seth freaking Rollins. singing for Seth freaking Rollins. The best dressed man in WWE and a pretty darn good conductor, and too. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth freaking Rollins. He's held the Intercontinental, the US, the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. And the WWE Universe serenading Rollins with his battle hymn. Time for Seth freaking Rollins to conduct another masterpiece. The door is locked. The referee has rung the bell, and this steel cage match is officially underway. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Oh, my goodness, launched into the cage. Saw that one coming. Hooks it up. Oh, back it out. Setting up neck breaker position. Just gouging the face. That's not right. The steel cage contains all the disdain superstars have for one another. Corey, what does the superstar have to do to come out on top? You need to be keenly aware of the situation at all times. There are a number of ways to win this match, and you have to know which to attempt and when. True words have never been spoken. If your opponent is prone to the ground, you have to assess the situation. They might have the power to kick out, but not quite enough energy to stop you from an escape. If they're far from the door, walking out might be a better option than the climb. Certainly plenty of variables on the table in this match tonight. Oh, face first! Rollins getting worked on here. Yeah, Rollins has hit roadblock here. He's lost some of his win now. Just like that, Rollins dodges. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. Somehow still in this fight. Not down and out yet. Oh, man, what a shining wizard. And he's really gotten into his zone right now. Stringing together some big moves here. Got to wonder if the stamina is there to make it all the way. Oh. Trying to escape the cage. Shifts it back onto him. 
Moved out of the way. Nobody home. Russian leg sweep. Oh, that didn't go as set design. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Kick to the back. He's looking a little weary now. The toll, the damage that a steel cage match does. We are perched up top. Almost lost their balance, but regained it. Diving elbow drop. Two. Oh, and he got him. Oh, and a kick out of two. How is he still in this match? By the skin of his teeth. He fends off the attack. Dodges out of the way. Look at this, going counter for counter. Oh, a step up in Zieri. Oh, using the knee. Turning the tables there. Planet with a face buster. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Seth Rollins needs to rethink his strategy because what he's doing now isn't. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. Is there any fight left in Rollins? Two count. What a kick out of two. Amazing resilience on display from Seth Rollins. How did Rollins kick out? Though you got to believe he'll be looking for the kick shot one more time. This has been a colossal battle to this point. No superstar is showing signs of backing down. We are seeing all their best on display, but it might just come down to who can take advantage of a pivotal mistake. Just cranking ahead. Enough already. Rollins desperately needs to figure this out. And Rollins in need of salvation. Caught with a punch. Oh my goodness. Kick to the spine. Catches a punch. Oh, Rollins got out of the way. He eludes the contact. Stomp right to the gut. Oh, and then the chest as well. These consecutive attacks have him reeling. In this situation, he perched up top. Almost lost their balance, but regained it. Diving up. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Powers out. How in the world? Boom. Good defense. Able to give him the slip. Oh, right into the cage. What a counter by Rollins. And Seth is finally able to mount some resistance. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Seth Rollins just getting dismantled. This can't be how Rollins envisioned his night going. Really wrenching it. Oh, right on point. Rollins on the move. Stop! We've seen this win matches for Rollins. The cover! Opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. And guys, on most nights, Rollins would have just ended this, but not tonight. Rollins got surprised there. And it's not gonna be pretty. Go to slip. Here's the cover. Makes Four the cover in. Oh, not yet. They just got the 
shoulder up. I cannot believe it, Corey. Seth Rollins is still alive. Next level fortitude from Rollins. Big move, but he's still unable to end this. The admiration for these superstars is echoing throughout this arena right now. Great strength being shown here. Ooh, been playing the trachea. Held in a perilous position. Ooh, right to the throat. Put in a position now. position you want to be in right now. Oh, man. Seth Rollins' chances are whittling down. Yeah, Rollins has hit a roadblock here. Rollins escaping danger. A counter answered by another counter. Oh, a kick right to the gut. Another, and another one. one. Nice combo. He's channeling the crowd's energy. The center. Here he goes, working his way up the side of the cage. Needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. He's all the way to the top of the cage. Not many options for him. I can't walk. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cover. There's two. And there's the survivor of this steel cage match. Well, guys, we thought that steel cage match was going to be a great one, but this was more than I even hoped for. Here is your winner, CM Punk. I don't think anybody will question the toughness on this player tonight. Takes a lot of guts to even set foot in the cage, but to win is even more impressive. Seth Rollins can't be pleased with his performance here tonight. He won't be. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. You should never do that again, because these two are Japanese legends continuing a legacy in WWE. You know you are in for an all-out fight facing the OC. Two men with a high in-ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. You can see the look of intensity on their faces already. The fun and games are over. I am not envious of their opponents at all. They're in store for an old-fashioned butt-whooping, guys. Say hello to Imperium. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred.
It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement. The mat is sacred. away from seeing Imperium's mission statement in action. And that's unfortunate for anyone else in the ring. Championships. Being on the same page will be vital in this one. Tag Team Fame on the line as the World Tag Team titles are up for grabs in this team competition. On one side we see Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. And standing in their way of victory, we see Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. The champs are not going down without a fight, but the challengers really seem ready for the challenge tonight. I think it's going to be a dugout brawl on another level because neither of these teams want to go home without the title. Oh, across the top rope. Look out! Slingshot cross body? That was ridiculous. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Vicious. Right forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Getting him into the corner. Tag is made. I have no earthly idea what these two are thinking, but it is going to hurt for sure for the champion into the cover. Stops the count before it, too. A truly impressive kick out this late. Look out! Cross body to the floor. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Can't quite get him there. Close line. She turning it around. Oh, wiped out with the crossbody. The challenger eating up some damage. Big forearm. Left by the turnbuckles. Buckle bomb. Oh, and an enziguri from behind. That was sick. Clothesline to the back of the neck. Producing a trampling. Dodges. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Uh, check this out. Kaiser with the STO. The first time DDT. What a clothesline. Ouch. Keeps him away. He knows how to 
kick into the mat. He went right into that turn. Come on, man. there's no fair play in that. Tag made, fresh man in. Oh, pressing their foot right into their gut. That's got to hurt. Oh, moved at the right time. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Oh, he saw it coming. Quick sidestep by Vinci. Bam! Down he goes. Uh oh, second row. Are you kidding me? Wow. Guys, that might have been the best move so ever. Got him. And the tag titles stay put. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Those ominous bagpipes, just a warning of the destruction yet to come. The following is a six-man ladder match. Making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew. I believe a future world champion in WWE. inside a wrestling ring. tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. A competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears, and here he is, carrying cross.
The time has come to fall and pray. The one, the only, Logan Paul. And from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 185 pounds, Logan Paul. Well, love him or hate him, his career is off to an amazing start. You're right, Saxton. This guy nearly ended the 800-plus day universal title reign of Roman Reigns in just his third match. tonight. We're about to see an air show. One of the best aerialists in WWE history. You know, it's just shocking the things that Ricochet can do in the ring. Oh, I'll be the first to admit, Ricochet is a downright spectacular talent. Yeah, stuns his opponents with his speed and nimbleness. Highlight-worthy moments always follow his entrance. WWE Universe, let him talk to you. I think LA Knight may let his fists do the talking tonight. And from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, LA Knight. Calls himself the Megastar. Well, he won't be one of those in the fashion world, but LA Knight might be able to earn that moniker in the ring. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. Well, remember, Knight has two decades of experience. He's held top titles all throughout the world, so he is more than ready for the stage of WWE. Hey, Michael. It's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. And representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, 
the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. Nearly 15 years into his WWE career, Sheamus still manages to deliver banger after banger. Okay. After banger. We got it. After banger. Would you stop? After banger. Oh my gosh. After banger. Quiet. After banger. Shut up. After banger. I love it. After banger. <sighs> After banger. Hanging high above the ring now is the Money in the Bank contract briefcase, which symbolizes so much. Well, it's more than just a contract. It's an opportunity to change your career, change your life. Think of all the superstars who earned the right to be Mr. or Ms. Money in the Bank. How it's completely changed not only their WWE career, but their livelihoods. Ladder matches are all about opportunities. You only get a few openings to climb that ladder. So when you have the chance, take it. That's good advice, Corey. You won't get many second chances in a dangerous match like this one. Oh, oh man, the neck breaker. Logan Paul feeling on top of the world and letting him know it. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Caught him right in the jaw. Well, what a shot. Oof, running knee in the corner. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. been put on the defensive. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Holy. Holy. Meet the barricade. The Scottish Warriors staring into his opponent's soul right now. Trying to see what they're made of. On the way to the top of the ladder. He has been here before and he knows what he needs to do. Try to sneak him a bit of a risky move right here. Big time. Oh, they rush in leg sweep. Times two. Great counter by Ricochet. Carefully placed stop to the Big four. Beautiful suplex. Off the barricade. Superhuman confidence from Ricochet as he reaches towards perfection. He's got that ladder right where he wants it. Now what? He's heading for higher ground. And we just saw some serious offense. He's got it in his grasp. And you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? And when you miss a shot, you don't use it above 15 feet. Hooked up. DDT. I don't know. Climb the ladder at this point seems to be a hit and vicious. And it's never too early to try. Striking while the iron is hot. Guys, I'll be amazed if this is where the match ends. You and me both. He's got a ladder now. He could be contemplating something very risky. All the way up and around the world. Lucifix head scissor. Escapes in a nick of time. He's taking this to the floor now.
no doubt now all plans have gone out the window. A big time prize literally hangs in the balance. There is no time to plan in the long term. Just move fast and hit hard. Here's the pump head though. Re-entering the ring now. Shane a big shot there. That was brutal. This is impressive. This is crazy strength. Let's take another peek at some of the highlights of that Money in the Bank match. 
Here is your winner, and Mr. Money in the Bank, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! What an incredible achievement. Here is our new Money in the Bank match winner. Show up, get the W, and get out. Not a bad night's work, I'd say. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. This is going to be physical. Already a multiple time NXT champion looking to dominate all of NXT. He has been absolutely dominant in NXT. Beat every big name that tried to take his throne. Yeah, I see his WWE career following the same pattern, Michael. You don't need to be a math major to realize that tonight spells disaster for Braun Breaker's opposition. Or the entire WWE locker room. Over the years, the Intercontinental title has been defended in some classics, and tonight should continue the tradition. Four decades of history with this title, and these men want the next chapter to be theirs. The champ certainly has his hands full here tonight, but he looks more than ready. Introducing the challenger from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. And his opponent from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 224 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Mark Who's going to lay claim to the workhorse title here tonight? The 
WWE Intercontinental title on the line. Perhaps a new chapter will be written in this championship's long history. For over 40 years, the WWE's best have competed for this title. Winning the Intercontinental title has been a major milestone in some Hall of Fame careers, and well, it could be just that again here tonight. And shoulders are down. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Hits the drop kick. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Reversal. What a counter. Tilt the world. Driven down in a side slam. Ooh. Braun Breaker can really be like a dog with a bone when he's got his sights set on his opponent, Corey. How do you combat something like that? How do you keep Breaker down? Well, Cole, that's where in-ring IQ and veteran instincts come in. Breaker is quite the talent, but he's still a young talent with much to learn. If you have better ring smarts or more reps, use that to your advantage against Breaker. Down with force. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. He's determined to keep this matchup going. The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of a dread. Using the ropes as a launching pad. Springboard crossbody. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. And here comes the pitch. Home oh, run. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. He just barely dodges. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Ripcord. Oh my goodness. Nasty line. And he tosses him back in now. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. is on the springboard. Close line. The challenger is Champ looking to end this. Title match stays alive. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Big forearm. All the way up. Gut break suplex. Breaker showing no answer for this attack. And he's staying on Breaker here, showing a higher in-ring IQ right now. He deflects it right back. Now a pin for the championship. Shoulder up, shoulder up. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Interceptor. The champ's shoulders are down. So close. That could have been it. Check out this display of power by Braun Breaker way overhead. Look at the military press and turns it into a power slam. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm is shifted. I'm having a hard time believing that one. We're about to learn a lot about this kid, Braun Breaker, guys. How will he respond to such a close near fall? Counters with an attack on Breaker. DDT play. Then. Quickly hoisting him up. Snap pile driver. For the win. Two retains. No challenger kicks out. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy soaring? the shoulder up in one. We are this far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? Breaker sidestepped out of that. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Breaker caught off guard. Now that was athletic. I think the champ's got it. So was that. Got the shoulder up. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship needs. You can see the sweat trip out of the challengers every pull. And you gotta think that all the plans are out the window after that. Taken down with a chop block. Had it scouted. Set up for a second time. Oh my goodness! A championship level move. And they're still in this! 
The champion's shock is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. I think we are witnessing a career-altering moment for these superstars, guys. But the spoils will own from the apron. Boom! Right on target. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. And Braun's having trouble managing this onslaught. Every form of offense breaker attempts is being neutralized. Two. Wow, springboard attack. That's got to be it. Two. No, didn't get it. The determination of the challenger keeps this match going. You can just see how much this title means, how much one is willing to go to to claim themselves as the new champ. Watch out. Across the shoulders. What's next? TKO. And he is now in a discouraging spot. He's got to wake up and get in the fight. Oh, man. What a leg drop. Covered by the champ. Almost ended it there. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't either. Can this ref even count to three? Oof. Piercing elbow drop. Elbow finds its mark. leaping attack that is reckless abandon being shown and paying off as well thrown back in under the ropes oh and breaker turns the tables shoulder tackle the champ trying to roll with these hits the counter. Belly on belly suplex. Is it enough? The counter. There's two. I'll roll the shoulder out at the last moment. We are seeing something special from the champ here. With the Larian. Kneecap goes right into the face to halt the attack. Up high. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Oh, man. Check out this power. Gorilla press slam. He's turning the tables. Shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder on. Oh, perfect kick. He moved, but can he capitalize? Blockbuster. And he had Braun's number there. The WWE Universe is on its feet. And deservedly so. These superstars are holding nothing back. Snap, pile driver. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. Take off. Diving leg drop. Mamma mia! Cover. Two. No title still hangs in the balance. How is the challenger still in this match? The apron of forearm smash. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Blast off. DDT with diving delivery. Amazing. Looking for the victory. There's two. A kick out at two. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Fancy here, backbreaker and backbreaker. Off the road. Good God! Picked down a mid-air into a power 
Slam. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Oh, my God! Wow, breathtaking. Another one Cut. bites the dust to the champ. The champion retains. We're going to be hard-pressed to see a better match than that. Here's another look. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Mark Manna. And you can't deny the toughness of a win like that. Kick out after kick out, big move after big move. And this is a match we'll be talking about for years and years to come. Hats off to the competitors. They have a lot to be proud of. Oh, Michael Corey, can you feel it? My veins are pulsating with positivity. Let's go. New Day rocks. Michael, New Day rocks. Corey? Shut up, Saxton. I look at these guys and I think two things. Boy, do they love unicorns and pancakes too much, but also they can main event any show on their own. And that's why we are oh so lucky to see them here tonight. <laughs> United States champion and the youngest money in the bank winner in WWE history. This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he backs it up every night. Theory is already primed for the main event in WWE. A brash high flyer who can do it all. Except shut up about it. Already quickly risen through the ranks of NXT. Never afraid to pick a fight, though there's no guarantee he'll actually fight fair. Like 
like him or hate him, Waller can do some amazing things in the ring, and I can't wait to see it. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, the New Day. And their opponents at a combined weight 426 pounds. They are the WWE Tag Team Champions, Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. You win these, you make a case as one of the best teams ever. I know you have a feeling in you. A feeling of power, perhaps? Uh, yeah, Michael. The power of positivity is in full effect, courtesy of the New Day. You know, nothing keeps these guys down. It's probably their best attribute as competitors. Very true. New Day does love to roll with the punches. They'll have a lot to roll with tonight. And with the tag titles on the line, you can bet this one's going to be pure mayhem. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. into the corner. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Waller playing to the crowd, trying to get him fired up. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. The tag is made, and here we go. Knew what was coming there. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. And Grayson gets that turn back on him. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Well, that'll do some serious damage. Look at this. Boom, nice. Off into the pin. Not time to expect victory yet.
champs. What a title defense. These gentlemen get after it. Here are the highlights. Here are your winners, and still, WWE Tag Team Champions, Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see. The following contest is a two out of three falls match and is for the Raw Women's Championship. The HBIC is B-A-C-K. Mia Yim looking to make the most of this opportunity. She is the baddest of the baddies. Returning to the WWE to right the wrongs. Every week, Ripley just gets more ruthless. How do you prepare for that? You have to be mentally prepared as well as physically for a master class in brutality. The Eradicator has arrived. Ready to pass judgment on the women's division. Pure evil on the face of the Eradicator. You can call it evil, but it's also effective, competing on an even higher level since joining the Judgment Day. I hate to say it, Corey, but you're right. Absolute dominance from Rhea Ripley as of late. Maria Ripley looks ready to torment yet another victim. What's the matter over there, Saxton? You feeling a little squeamish? A little uncomfortable. Introducing the challenger from Fontana, California, Mason V. From Adelaide, Australia, she is the Raw Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley.
the highly sought out Raw Women's Championship. Get your popcorn ready and settle in, folks. We are about to witness a clash for the ages. We know for a fact the Raw Women's Championship simply brings that drive, that passion out of superstars. So this match should be no different. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Oh, oh and a stomp right to the back. A wild look in her eye with authority. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. Using the cranium. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Corey, is that first fall the most important one in a two out of three match? Some people see it that way, but it's obviously the second fall that really counts. The first fall can be a confidence boost, but the second one is the one that gets your hand raised. A hip toss. Inside out. And it has got to be demoralizing just being tossed outside the ring like that. Oh, they can worry about their feelings later. Right now, they're making sure every bone's still in place. Overhand right lands. Oof! Lands the haymaker. Able to reverse! Oh, man! Oh, man! Middle rope. Kick. Hit the target. She thinks she has it. She kicks out at one. I think this match still has a ways to go. Well, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. Multiple stops. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Ripley gets her back. She was being tested, but now finally gets some offense of her own in. Continue attacks from Rhea. Mia's on the wrong side of every exchange. Oh, what a roundhouse kick. There's return fire on Rhea. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Bruising attack to the stomach. You know what, guys? I was afraid it was going to get to this point. The challenger being out. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? Digging deep for a kick out. She just won't stay down. She anticipated that one. Go behind. German suplex. DDT. Face plant. Taking it outside the ring now. Clearly waiting for that. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Lands face first. Oh, man. Mia escapes danger. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Caught in a bad position here. No, 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 no. Power bomb out of the apron. Tossed back into the ring. Mia's in a daze. This could be over soon. Bump handle applied. Riptide. But champions need to finish the job. The title hangs in the balance. Somehow, 
This title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup, rethink your plan. And there is a look of utter shock covering the face of Rhea Ripley after that outcome. Fails to connect on the springboard. Bam! Oh, and she got out of there. Saw that coming. Close to three. Oh, ooh, stinging kick. Black drop. She's looking for the win. Kick out of the title fight continues. She just will not go away. Ooh. Mia able to avoid impact. Ten more consecutive attacks, keeping Mia off her game. And Ripley is in complete control. Tossed into the corner. Break the jaw. Oh, what a shot. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. Now would be a good time to turn around. Uh-oh, going up top. This isn't going to be good. Down hard. Here's a cover. Could be it. Obviously still has some fight left. Mia gets drawn in. Oh, what a strike to the back. Such brutality from Rhea Ripley. And Mia needs to reassess her strategy. Back and forth from these competitors. roundhouse kick this has become a monumental struggle for these competitors it is down to who still has the energy the resolve to put the pedal to the metal to the face what a redirect she throws her back in section. Suplex. Heading back to the ring. We're about to see Sofu come see a Mia Yin. We can have the new champion. She gets the late score. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. She's being set up. Oh, man. The STO. Blatant disrespect. She's got an answer for that. Middle rope. Missile drop kick. Hit the target. One more time and landing with incredible impact. Ooh, accurate roundhouse. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, and a barricade. She's able to get out of the way. Burying knees into the body. Oof, kick finds it. Looking great right now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. 
Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Oh, an overhead kick. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? A mounting! And hammering away! Mia's looking for the final exclamation. Close line. Avoided contact and brought a big attack of their own. a fall for the champion. Boom! Rock kick right on point. The challenger. Rhea Ripley looking for the submission. Look at this power with the prism trap. Oh my goodness, critical point of the matchup. It could be over right here. Can she hang on? Can she somehow hang on? He is determined to escape. Catches them with a jawbreaker. Caught with that sharp elbow. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Oh, oh, oh. Into a power bomb. And that could be a step towards overcoming Rhea late in this match. You have to be impressed with Mia given what she's been through thus far. Punch to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. This place is going insane! The ground beneath my feet is shaking. What's Mia going for here? Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. Turned that one around. Schoolboy! Shoulders are down! Retain the championship. Well, this is one matchup that lived up to its billing and then some. Here is your winner, and still the Raw Women. That came out of nowhere, and an unexpectedly quick end to this match. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. The following contest is a no holds barred match and is for the WWE United States Championship. The The animal has conquered countless iconic heroes in WWE. And Batista, 
He doesn't fear any being. No fear, no trepidation, all focus. Yeah, add to that, Corey, Batista's frightening presence and overwhelming intensity. Brutality awaits. A vicious battle for survival is about to begin. Batista may be the valedictorian of the School of Hard Knocks from childhood all the way to WWE. Yeah, but you could say Batista's time as a member of Evolution really created the DNA for the animal. His intimidation factors off the charts. He just pummels you with brute force. Yeah, nothing more dangerous, hungry, and aggressive than the animal Batista. The Viper is here. Think of all the legendary factions that Randy Orton has been a part of. All steps in his career greatness. Oh, he learned from the best. But at a very early age, Randy proved he can go it alone. Yeah, we learned very quickly that Randy Orton was the student who was able to surpass the Masters. And in the process, Randy Orton has become a master in his own right. Orton looks like he's ready to stalk his prey. Such an impressive array of in-ring skills possessed by the Viper. All Randy Orton needs is one RKO to end your evening. Well, Byron, I guarantee you Orton's going to show us tonight that he's much more than that. Yeah, Randy Orton is an SOB. Introducing the challenger from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal Batista! And his opponent, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton! One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking, the United States Championship. This is all for the right to call yourself the United States Champion. To put yourself in the echelon of John Cena, Ricky Steamboat, Steve Austin, some of the greats of all time. Over 40 plus years of history for the United States Championship and a new chapter is written tonight. Orton able to counter. Catches an uppercut. Hoist it up, back suplex delivered. The champion into the cover. Kick out after one from the challenger. You expect these pins to last. Cover for the championship. Oh, the champ survives. Down to the wire. Who's going to give in first? What kind of headspace do you need to be successful in a no disqualification match? A ruthless one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going after your opponent full force. Anytime you waste second-guessing yourself, it's time for your opponent to get their hands on a weapon. 
And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Oh, man, what an uppercut. Ooh. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. Batista able to walk that off. Able to get out of the way. DDT. It doesn't matter how big Batista is, the legend killer puts everyone down with that. The Apex Predator showing no concern for his opponent. Nasty stop to finish it off. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. A bad place to be for the challenger. That is the sort of bloodthirsty offense that Randy Orton does so well. Ah, softening up the neck with that one. Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Yeah. Ooh. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. He avoids the damage. Expected that one. This is right for him. Batista avoids impact. Batista needs to find the beast within him now. Compromised position here. Oh, facing off in the top of the... No, 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 no! You're insane! You're insane! Big time payoff off a big time risk. the stage? You can't be serious. He gets out of the way. Batista is just playing with his food right now. Area. Also, plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Oh. Oh. What an what an Out of nowhere, the champ will stay champ. Oh, that just happened. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. No matter which way he uses that ladder, there's going to be a crash. Back in the ring now. <laughs> Caught that one with his face, and Batista's bleeding. Three, no, two count. Title still on the line. And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is really easy here. But now this is what Randy Orton is his most dangerous in five crews had a taste and knows what it takes to win. The WWS Association for the X team. It has been an absolute war out there. And these superstars' efforts are not lost on this crowd. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. 
finds the table, and guys, I do not see the table being long for this world. Boom, running FTO plants it. Nicely done. The champ now absorbing a little damage. Punch lands. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Ward with a fez press, rapid fire right hands. Ooh. Batista sides it. That was one of the best brawls I've ever witnessed. Take another look here. Here is your winner, and still, WWE United States Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton! Randy Orton able to stand victorious over Batista in a major victory. Orton continues to be a legend killer as he takes down his former teammate. This is definitely not what Batista wanted. The man has arrived. And the WWE Universe is on their feet. From underdog to the top of the food chain. Becky Lynch is ready for a fight. 
and ready to put everyone on notice. It is amazing in such a short period of time, Becky Lynch has become one of the most popular superstars in WWE. Became the first women's double champion when she beat Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Yeah, but every once in a while, that much confidence can be detrimental, especially when you're a target. Everyone wants to make a name off of the man. If you want to create a legacy in the WWE women's division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned kingdom. Charlotte will stomp you and then leave an imprint of her boot tattooed on your face. Highly skilled in every facet. Strength, brawling ability, risk-taking, mind games. No other women's competitor has been so decorated, so revered. Charlotte Flair is ahead of her time. True greatness usually isn't realized until after you've been enshrined in the WWE Hall of Fame. Such is not the case with Charlotte. Just open your eyes and experience the greatness. Gentlemen, damage control has arrived. You are looking at the past, present, and future of the women's division. Three women who make each other better. Multiple tag team title reigns for Dakota and Io, and countless main events for Bayley. No doubting that, but they've been taking shortcuts to get to the top of the women's division. Yeah, and here's the sad part, Michael. They don't have to take all those shortcuts. Well, you're actually right about that, Saxton. I agree, but shortcuts are what will get them to the top sooner rather than later. Well, damage control looks ready for a fight, but most likely, not a fair one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers. Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. And their opponents, they are the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Dakota Kai and Bayley Damage Control. The WWE Universe wanted it. The women deserved it. A legacy continues to grow tonight. The WWE Women's Tag Team titles are up for grabs.
Big opportunity here to claim the women's tag team championships in this tag team match. And we are starting things off with Becky Lynch and Charlotte. Then the opposing team is, of course, filled with Dakota Kai and Bailey. The champions fought so hard to earn those titles, and now they're going to have to fight even harder to retain them. Teamwork brought them to the top of the tag division, and it's going to keep them there, too. Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. Dodged right on cue. Thunderous slam. Oof. He's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. See here. Hung up on the second row. Neckbreaker. Oh man, it looks like her opponent's not gonna need a chiropractor. Schoolboy. Wait, no! Into a power bomb! Becky's looking to go airborne. Well, oh, look out! Diving leg drop from the top row! She kicks out. That 
That is just pure instinct at this point. Ooh. And that's our escape. Each competitor is showing they've done their homework. Ooh. Oh, knee left. Teams always entertain, but the entertainment on that one was off the charts. touches in this one gives you hope for the future of the tag division great tag team action on display guys The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. One of the most dominant and decorated teams in the world. to think of three men as feared and revered as the OC. And they've got a completely new focus since returning and reuniting. The OC commands respect wherever they go, and their opponents had better be ready to show it certainly earn the respect and they'll take it from anyone who won't give it willingly. The mouthpiece of Imperium. Ladies and gentlemen, Demet 
Mitte ist heilig. What you're about to witness is dignified the formation executed by unprecedented precision. A diabolical athlete who will stop at nothing to uphold the integrity and honor of this great sport. Well, that is quite an introduction from Kaiser, introducing Gunther and espousing their mission statement. Two of the founding members of Imperium, they've been at each other's side since the faction's debut. Gunther, the longest reigning NXT UK champion in history, held the Intercontinental Championship as well. Multiple NXT tag title reigns for Kaiser. And this is just the beginning for Imperium. These two on the same page, the same sentence, the same word, Cole, and that word is Imperium. Introducing the challenger from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, he is the WWE It is the richest prize our industry has to offer. This is the WWE Championship. Hashtag WWE Championship title match is now officially underway history could be made regardless of which one of these men you're a fan of or you support you cannot argue these are two men with championship pedigree you can't be in this position if that weren't true springboard misses the target uh, oh twist in the arm this clutch into the elbow aj looking for something here ddt referee in position Two inches away, but he gets the kick out. He was about a half a second away from a humiliating defeat. Oh, Gunther put a stop to that. Knife in the top. Woo! Something AJ Styles has to utilize if he wants to win this match is his incredible agility. The way AJ can fly around the ring can leave opponents stunned and create offensive openings for it. I have to agree, staying agile and pushing the pace would be an AJ's... Middle rope. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Ready drop kick. Ooh. Kick. Ooh. Evading offense. And responds with a counter of their own. Oh, and a wicked clothesline. The champion into the cover. Shoulders up before two. There is no quit in this man tonight. And the ring general, Gunther, with a salute of sorts to the WWE Universe. Knife edge chop! Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. And 
Gunther is showcasing his arsenal. Gunther seizing every opening. Oh, oh kick connects. The ring general. Power bomb. And the champion finally ready to put this one away. No, title still hangs in the balance. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Paying it right back with a reversal. Placing them into the corner. He reverses it. Styles doing what he can do to alter the beatdown. But he still has more work to do to get this fully in his favor. Brain buster. No! Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Styles letting him know there is only one phenomenal one around here. Hooked up. DDT. This fight has made its way to the entrance way. Oh, man. So many things can go wrong now. And now thrown back into the ring. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Referee's count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. Great. On the top, Mitchell drop kick finds its mark. Shoulders down, championship on the line. Kicks out. He just won't give up. Oh, close line. From the apron. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. He moves just in time. A stalemate of counters. The ring general delivering a powerbomb. The champ will stay champ. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Cover! Oh, how did he get the shoulder up? What an incredible match we are witnessing. Oh, man. Oh, what a kick. The challenger being outclassed here. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. AJ Styles might be headed for a real loss unless he turns things around. We are seeing a next-level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. No! That'll break his arm. Vicious. AJ with the wherewithal to avoid that. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Knife edge chop. A 
it's not going to... Uh-oh. Attack with a nasty chop block. The ring general. Powerbomb. Uh-oh. Thunderous powerbomb. The champ has this one in his... Uh-oh. Thunderous powerbomb. I think the champ's got it. There he goes, right into the corner. Gunther, all the way up to the top. This is a frightening sight to witness. Oh, no. No way. My gosh, Avalanche Powerbomb. Makes the, the titles going nowhere. Kiss your... Try as you might. You just can't get the title off. Gunther. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Champion, Gunter! This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the cost against the benefits. AJ Styles is going to have to work a little bit harder to become a true contender in the WWE. I have no doubt he will. Mella is money! The following contest is a six-woman ladder match! Make your way to the ring from Staten Island, New York. The most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella! Byron, are you ready to admit the truth yet? Mella is money! I think she's an unbelievable talent. Mella is money. One of the top names in women's independent wrestling, Zoe Stark. Now looking to prove herself in WWE. And from Utah, Zoe Stark! I love Zoe Stark's energy and love of competition. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but she has proven it by capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. A warrior blessed by the gods. Valhalla is here. 
representing the Viking Raiders, Valhalla. Valhalla considers herself the ultimate hunter, and the women's division is her prey. Stalks her prey and strikes with ferocity. Every win is a trophy kill for her. Valhalla, who takes her name from the place warriors go when they die. A bad sign for Valhalla's opposition. This ring is about to turn into a battlefield. And Valhalla won't settle for anything short of total decimation. One of the best women strikers in WWE, Nikita Lyons. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lyons! MMA trained at a black belt in Taekwondo at eight years old. Hey, there's another eight-year-old that could beat you up, Saxton. Quite a martial arts display from Lions. And I think we'll see plenty more of that in this match tonight. Well, this is a true ballsy entrance. And from Oakland, California, Shotzi! Well, Shotzi had a long and arduous road to get to WWE, but now she's enjoying herself. Oh, any road's gonna be long if you're driving a tank that slowly. The EST of WWE. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Hey, Bianca, make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest, it's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh, uh, um, Corey, not just great, the great est. Get it? Listen to this ovation. The WWE Universe loves cheering on the EST. Well, come on. Her energy is just infectious. I'd see Graves even dancing over there. Uh, I'm not sure I call that dancing. A competitor must seize opportunity in a match like this because there's no guarantee another one will present itself. 
Well, I agree with you 100%, Cole. There can't be any hesitation if you've got an ally or a tag partner in this match. You cannot let that block your path to the briefcase. You can't waste time. You gotta set up the ladder and go. Goodness, oh. calm down. Up and down. What a slam. That gets reversed on Nikita. Double suplex. She's getting that ladder position perfectly. Well, setting it up is one thing. Climbing it is entirely different. Looks like that ladder's set up perfectly in the center of the ring. Let's take another look at these women in action. Here is your winner, and Miss Money in the Bank, Nakia Lyons! After an intense and jaw-dropping match, here is the latest Money in the Bank winner. A win's a win, and it's also all that matters here in WWE. Good job.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Here comes Hell on Wheels. No introduction needed. Emphasis of destruction is on display. He may not dress like Satan himself anymore, but he's still down with the devil and ready to get medieval tonight. The dead man's opponent is about to fight for his life. Yeah, the dead man loves to dish out punishment. And I'm sure tonight will be no different. as he does at the announce table. We are witnessing the return of the street-tough, bare-knuckle brawler. A man who can put you down with one bullhammer. Focused and ready to brawl, just like his time on the streets. Tonight's forecast calls for a strong chance of a real hard-hitting, bone-breaking statement being made tonight. individual only razor sharp focus when this much is on the line This title defense begins, and it really is lonely at the top, wouldn't you say? Once you're at the pinnacle, Saxton, you don't care about friends. You have one solitary goal, and that is to defend your title at any cost. Oh. He's just taking a moment to simply remind everyone why he's simply the best. Able to interrupt the attack. High knee right between the shoulders. Right to the leg. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. The challenger eating up some damage. Oh, face stop. Undertaker retaliates. An elusive Barrett there. Wade Barrett is an intelligent man, but he's definitely someone who always believes he's the smartest person in the room, which he's not. 
So I'd try to outthink him in a match like this. Wow, a man who... From the apron. Whoa, look out. Big forearm. Huge boot. into the ring. The winds of change have arrived. Goes into the pin. Two count. And the champ does not end it. Close call. That was almost lights out. Momentum's with Wade now. You can bet the dead man won't rest here. Yeah, the dead man getting some refreshed vitality. Getting carried around that spot to be in. Wade Barrett is set to end this. Welcome to Wasteland. Can it be? Will the rain Cover. continue? How'd he do that? This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Placed into the corner. Lands the knee. Oh, he knew what was coming. Oh, and that surprises Wade. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. One response after another. Back and forth we go. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Top rope, here we go. Sky high. Knee drop. Cover. Two. Oh, somehow managed to keep this match going. Change of counters there. <laughs> oh, what a punch. Oh, 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 what a boot. Great counter. And guys, that just made Undertaker look a bit more mortal as blood starts to stream down his face. Superstars will ever be the same after this match. Undertaker facing some trouble. Yeah, Barrett is proving hard to keep up with. Got kick. Nothing fancy there. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Picking up the lifeless body of their opponent. Good. What a match. Ooh. He steers clear of contact. Glazed over. Try to end it. The Undertaker. These two showing how well scouted they each are. No surprise that what we're witnessing is trending. Forget trending on social media. The motion in the arena is charting on the Richter scale. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Ooh, down low and down he goes. His opponent's about to suffer some bad news. Because here comes the ball hammer. Now that is why they're the champ. Makes it cover. And the champ. Retains. 
Sometimes a match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that one sure did. Take her lost and I can't believe it.